Today we're gonna to do a 30 minute barbell and dumbbell workout focusing on the legs and the triceps. You can do this as a follow along with me. For the first strength section, I'll be using a 40 kilo barbell. That's about 88 pounds total weight and some nine kilo dumbbells. That's about 20 pounds each, but use whatever's right for you. But first up, we're gonna kick it off with a brief bodyweight warm up. So this warm up consists of four exercises. We're gonna do 30 seconds each, just rolling one straight into the other. We're gonna start off with some good morning, so it's learning to hinge at the hip, getting the hamstrings nice and stretched out. So if you start with your hands behind your ears, feet about hip width apart, we're gonna pull the hips back, hinging, and then scooting back. So we're having relatively straight legs. You can unlock the knee, but we're aiming to reach those hamstrings back, keep the Shoulder blades pulled together, keeping the back flat. Imagine someone's pulling your hips backwards. From here, we're gonna go straight into some arm circles. Just getting the shoulders nice and warm. Big circles forwards. and backwards. You can see I've got a rack for this workout, but you don't need one. You can just clean the bar onto your back for the exercises. I'm gonna use one today to make the transitions a little bit easier. Into squats, so squatting down, feet a little bit wider than your good morning width. Toes slightly turned out for your squats, and then the knees pushed out nice and wide to match that toe angle. Imagine you're sitting your hips down between your heels. Pull your knees forwards over your toes, actively engaging the shin muscles. And from here, we'll be going into a press-up position. So into that press-up position, take one foot on the outside of the hand, turn and reach, and then repeat on the other side. I'm just gonna alternate sides on these Spider-Man lunges. Want to lengthen through the back leg, feeling a nice hip flexor stretch. Bend into the front leg, feeling a nice hamstring and glute stretch. Back to the feet, back to these good mornings. So feet about hip width apart. You don't need any or much of a turnout of your feet. Imagine someone's pulling your hips backwards. Soften the knees slightly, but maintain relatively straight legs. Reach those hamstrings to full length and then squeeze the glutes through back to the top. Circling forwards. And backwards. Feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Knees push out, hips sit down between the heels. Actively engaging the shin muscles by pulling the knees forwards over the toes, giving us a nice range of motion in the quads. Keeping upright position with the upper back. into those Spider-Man lunges. These are great for opening out the chest and upper back as well. So onto your first strength section, you're gonna need your barbell set up. We're gonna do a back squat for 40 seconds. So if you load a weight that you can do that for, you need a pair of dumbbells that you can do a 
skull crusher with for 40 seconds as well. We're gonna do four exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off for three rounds. We'll have a half time break and then we'll be changing up the exercises, maybe lowering the barbell weight a little bit. So get yourself ready to go with these back squats. Feet, your most comfortable squat with. Controlling the lowering phase, slightly faster on the way up. The bar should be resting on your upper back and your traps, not on your neck bone. Make sure your knees are pushed out nice and wide. You want to keep your heels on the floor. Nice even pressure between the inside and outside of the foot. I like to actually grip the floor with my feet. So imagine you're squeezing the arches. Okay, you need to bring the barbell to the floor or onto the rack. Because we're gonna go for a close grip floor press, a big compound tricep exercise. So relatively narrow grip on the bar. Elbows in and press. Don't worry if you're a couple of seconds behind. It's no problem, it'll still be tough. So we don't need to be super close. So just inside of shoulder width is close enough. You want the elbows tucking in tight to the sides for a narrow grip press, helping to emphasize the triceps. Obviously there's other muscles working as well. Bar can go back. Picking your dumbbells up now. We're gonna go alternating single leg Romanian deadlift. So shift your weight over to one side. Single leg Romanian deadlift. Back up and switch legs. Try and keep a relatively straight leg on your supporting leg. You can unlock the knee, just like on the good mornings. We're trying to keep that knee angle fixed throughout the rep. A good tip for not twisting your hips is try and keep the back foot pointed down towards the floor. You'll feel the hamstring stretch earlier. Lying on your back now. We're going for a skull crusher with the dumbbells. Isolating the tricep. So hinge at the elbow, dumbbells come close to your ears and then extend to straight. We're trying to keep the upper part of your arm between your shoulder and your elbow relatively fixed in place. Just hinging at the elbow, extending all the way to straight arms, tensing the triceps at the top and then lowering back down control. Try not to let your elbows flare out too wide as you're doing this. Great job, so there's one round done. We've got three rounds in total of these exercises before we change them up. So if you've got a rack, get the bar back to the top ready for the squats and if you haven't got a rack you can just clean it off the floor and push press over your head so I'm controlling that eccentric lowering phase maybe three counts down one two three and then one to two counts up Focusing on my foot pressure, trying to 
squeeze the floor with my feet, making sure my knees are not collapsing in. I'm gonna have to start breathing and bracing now. Bringing the bar to the floor or onto a lower J hook on the rack. Going for that close grip bench press. So hands shoulder width apart or slightly closer. onto your feet, grabbing your dumbbells, getting ready for that alternating single leg Romanian deadlift. You'll see it abbreviated as RDLs. So hinging at the hip, back toes pointing down, screwing through. It'll be tempting to bend the knee more as you come towards the base of the rep. But try not to do that because you're just going to lose the hamstring stretch. Another common mistake is people generally go too far with their body like this and not high of the heel. So bring the body up a bit and bring the heel up a bit so you finish like this. Sticking with the dumbbells, lying on your back, getting ready for those tricep extensions. Remember fixing the upper arm still, avoiding any flaring of the elbows. Getting the dumbbells nice and tight to your ears without hitting yourself in the head. There's two rounds done. We've got one more to go of those four exercises, and then we'll be moving on to four new ones. Still supersetting between leg and tricep exercises.
great job. Take a minute off, grab a little bit of water, but we're also gonna lower the weight. We're gonna take 10 kilos off in total, so five kilos off each side. So that brings me down to 30 kilos on the bar. I'm gonna stick with the same weight on the dumbbells. We're gonna do the same format. Four new exercises though, doing 40, 20 intervals for three rounds. We're gonna start off with an alternating reverse lunge with the bar on your back. So alternating legs, stepping backwards into a full depth lunge. If you really struggle with lunges, you can just do these body weight. Make sure that front knee isn't collapsing in towards the center. Keep it on the outside of the big toe. Always finish your rep. Next, we're gonna go for a strict press overhead. We're gonna pick a relatively narrow grip on the bar. Getting a bit more of a stretch on the tricep. Obviously, there's some shoulders involved in this, but with this slightly narrower than traditional grip, we'll get a bigger hinge at the elbow, therefore a bigger stretch and involvement from the tricep. As they're already pre-fatigued, they're definitely working hard. Okay, let's do a lateral movement now. So you take one dumbbell, you hold it at the chest, you have a nice wide stance. We do some side to side lunges. So don't worry about how low you're going at first. Might be a little tight down the inside. And as we do more rounds and more reps, we'll gradually get lower as long as you're pushing the range of motion that you've got available. So the trailing leg is gonna stay straight. And the bending leg, make sure that's not collapsing forward. You wanna be consciously pushing that out. You only need one dumbbell again for this next one. You're gonna do a single dumbbell behind head tricep extension with a nice deep stretch on every rep. So you're dropping nice and low behind the head and then extending up to straight. Trying to keep the elbows tucked in not letting them flare out too wide. So you'll see behind my head, coming nice and low, actually making contact with my upper back. Whoa. Surprisingly difficult with a light weight and you're going full range of motion. Got a brief rest, then we're back onto that barbell for those reverse lunges. And as I said, a lot of people struggle with lunges, so if you'd rather just do body weight, that's absolutely fine.
to that narrow grip, strict press. Get underneath the bar as soon as it's cleared your forehead. Finish in with the bar above the crown of your head, avoiding too much of a lean back as you press. It's feeling heavy. All right, on to the last round. If you're enjoying this, this is actually part of a longer series called the Lift 2.0 series. Um, if you're already on that, well done, you're well into it by now. And if you're not currently doing the Lift series, you can download the program guide from the description of this video. It's a 16, 30 minute workout series spread over four weeks. Gonna be a tough last set on this.
hopefully you can get a little bit more range of motion into these. Get a little bit of a deeper stretch now that you're nice and warmed up. All right, one final set of the workout. Finishing off the triceps, that behind head extension. And that's it. Workout complete. Thanks so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments below how did you find that workout and where in the world that you're following along from. I really do love to hear that. If you're on the Lift 2.0 series, here's the next day in the series. Here's a quick cool down stretch if you want to do that now. And if you fancy checking out the series and you're not already on it, then there's a program guide you can download in the description of this video. And I'll see you again soon for another workout.